And this is a, a life story. It's not a rugby story. I'm thrilled there's so many ladies here. Because this is a, a life story about my life as a, a fat little kid growing up in New Zealand. And then working for arguably one of the greatest sporting teams ever. And all I ask you to do is to draw your own analogies from your own life at home and in business um, and come to your own, conclusion, own conclusions. Uh, what we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about winning. Uh, we don't seem to do enough of that. Um, putting your hand up and say, I'm going to be a winner because it's a good word and winning is the most important thing. So that's pretty strong. Uh, turning failure into success. How do you turn around? And I'm sure there's people sitting in this room who have failed, and how do you turn that round to be successful again? Uh, sustaining a culture of success. When you become number one, how do you sustain that culture? And I'm sure you've all had to deal with that at some stage. And then finally, which is probably my, my mantra, um, is being as successful as you can be. And when you think about that in your own lives, um, about being as successful as you can be, it's probably the most important ingredient uh, to being world class. Uh, just for those who, who don't know who I am, uh, my name's Sean Fitzpatrick. Um, I'm the most capped All Black of all time for one more game. Um, and uh, Richie McCaw and Mills Mulyaina, who are currently in the All Blacks, are both on 91 internationals. And uh, they'll leak my record on Saturday, which uh, working for Sky has huge benefits, because at the moment I'm working overtime telling everyone how badly they are playing and that they, they, they should be dropped. Um, playing career, I played from 1986 to 1997, 127 international matches, including 92 test matches, which is, just working with a couple of Americans over the last few days, I had to explain this, a test match is one country against another country. Uh, played in three World Cups, which is you play everyone in the world, unlike America, where they have the World Championships within America. <laughs> um, hold the record for 63 consecutive internationals, and I'll touch on this a bit later, but 63 consecutive internationals from 1986 to 1995. I played every minute of every international that New Zealand was involved in. Scored 55 points and named hooker of the century. The All Blacks, the greatest sporting team ever, Arguably, in the last 100 years, the English football team have won 50% of games played. Uh, the Brazilian football team have won 73% of games played in the last 100 years. The All Blacks have won 84% of games played in the last 100 years. So they're doing something right. Um, if you look at this uh, jersey and um, the guys who play for the All Blacks now, when I was playing, you could earn three times what you're earning by playing in Europe. But the guys that play in New Zealand want to play for this jersey, the black jersey, the all black jersey. Uh, we have four and a half million people in New Zealand. This was my first jersey. Every time you play for the all blacks, uh, you get the right to keep that particular jersey. Um, and then it's up to you what you do with it. Um, we have four and a half million people in New Zealand. And every one of those people in New Zealand believe they're shareholders in our organization. Now you just think of the businesses you work in. I've just been doing some work for HP. And I said to them, if you want to be world class, you have to have an attitude that the 300,000 people that work for HP and all the people around the world that buy their product are shareholders in their organisation. When they go into a store to buy an HP product, they expect it to be the best. You're told in no uncertain terms, the 4.5 million shareholders in New Zealand, you're told in no uncertain terms, the first time you pull on that all-black jersey, Make a mental note of that feeling. And every other time you pull on the jersey, recall that feeling. You are expected to win. My biggest fear playing for the All Blacks is that I was going to fail, that I was going to let down those four and a half million shareholders. 